Race 5 will kick off, kick off rather, the 6-up at Sha Tin with the running of the Class 4 over 1,000 metres down the straight. The false rail will be in operation and Sparkling Dragon at the top of horse. That does go very well fresh for me, Choi and Karis Teton. Kaying Spirit, Danny Schumann, Harry Bentley. We've got We Are Hero trial winner. Chevelle Valiant's placed in the trial up at Chung Fa. Lucky Banner has his first run out of Griffins. Amazing Rocky has the hood off. Glory Bobo was beaten at 1.3 on debut. Wei Fung Legend and newcomer United We Stand is another one that has won fresh in the past. Bulb Prince is there for dinnership. And then you've got Quorum Jack Wynn, who's up 32 pounds in body weight and smart leader, right on the cusp of a class drop off a mark of 41 for Sylvester de Souza. Speed down the straight, Paul. Sparkling Dolphin has plenty of uh, pace, but behind him there might be a lineup. Yeah, well, look, Chevelle Valen will try and come across and join him. He's got plenty of pace as well, so he might actually be able to get across. Uh, Glory Bobo is showing pace, but no stamina in his start. Uh, Lucky Banner has put on a bit of weight, which is a good thing for him because he's got pace, but he's only a little chap. Um, Kowloon uh, Easter, he's another one that's got plenty of uh, uh, pace early, but he can be a little bit hit or miss at the barriers. Yes, he can be. He's played up from time to time. Certainly has that Kowloon Easter star. We can hear from David Hayes once again. He's got uh, the debutant in the race, which is Wei Fung Legend. Wei Fung Legend going around in the fifth, uh, a four-year-old by Cable Bay having his first uh, run. Uh, what impression has he had on you? Um, his trials uh, down the straight on the grass in Chung Fa have been very impressive, you know, quite impressive. Uh, and his trials on the dirt have been unimpressive. So um, I, I, I'm hoping he's not a dirt horse and um, I, I'm hoping he really likes the straight. So um, should be competitive on his turf trials. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he's obviously shown a bit of pace in those trials as well. Is that just to let him find his, find his feet and where he settles where he's comfortable? I, I reckon he'll probably settle a length or two off the leaders. Yep. And, uh, and hopefully be strong late. There's a few class four sort of bread and butter types that have won down the straight in the past. Is he good enough to give this race a, a shake? I, I would say he's an each way chance. Back to the, the season ahead. How's the stable shaping up uh, for the, the first of 88 uh, meetings in the, the, the months <sighs> ahead? Look, I'm, we're, like everyone, we're hopeful that the horses have progressed. And um, I'll probably tell you on Monday. <laughs> but uh, there's some horses that should be competitive over the weekend. With good jockeys on. Looking forward to it. Luke Curry to ride Wei Fung Legend, who was an $80,000 English yearling purchase, and he did win two trials in Australia at Terelgan and Tatura prior to arriving. Move on to Sparkling Dolphin. He was a last start winner, Paul, and he's got a, a great fresh record, probably one of the best fresh, fresh records out of the whole card. Six starts for three wins. Yeah, exactly, and this is the time to get him. Uh, he's drawn nicely enough, I thought, in Barry number 8. He'll come across to the rail. He'll try and lead. I think he can lead as well. Seville uh, Valiant might put a bit of pressure on him. But I, look, this is the right time to catch him. I think he's a big chance once again. That horse running third, We Are Hero, wasn't bad there, mm. but he has trolled nicely since, hasn't he? He has. Look, I've, I've included him as well, We Are Hero, because he's, a, again, a horse on the improve. What about uh, Ka Ying Spirit? Uh, he is a horse that's just won the one race from seven starts with uh, Danny Shum. He's had a few issues, blood in the track here. Um, he's had uh, blood uh, in the nostrils as well after track work going back to... Uh, the end of March, so he is first up for quite a while. Yeah, look, he's only had the two starts at Shartan. The other ones have been at Happy Valley, so he comes back to the straight 1,000, which he has won down the straight 1,000 before. That's his only win, so he's on the right track, and the trial was OK. Yeah, it certainly was. Uh, there on the all with it for uh, Ka Ying Spirit, a son of uh, Rubik, and we're looking here at Amazing Rocky with Chevelle Valiant. Now, Amazing Rocky, Hood comes off. He hasn't won first up, but he has placed in all three starts. Yeah, so look, I think he'll run a bit of a race from barrier number 12. Zach Purden aboard as well. He's had this time up at Chungfa. I think he's quite forward as well. Uh, look, he's come up early favourite as well, Amazing Rocky. I think there's probably a lot to do with Zach on as well. But he, look, he's going to be, I thought, about three back on the rail. So he'll get his opportunity. Chevelle Valiant's trial, I thought, was only fair here. He's pushed out. He's in third placing, as you can see there on screen at the moment. But he picked up a well-deserved win last start. He did, didn't he? That was his, his first win. Was on a good to yielding track, though. That's mm. just a little question mark for me. He looked uh, certainly beaten in that race, uh, too, but uh, fought back uh, gamely. Uh, you with the Dolphin? Yeah, I am. I've got the Dolphin on top. I just think that uh, fresh record speaks for itself. And uh, he's drawn nicely in eight. So he's on top. Amazing Rocky in there for second. We are hero who uh, did finish third behind Sparkling Dolphin. And look, we're going to put one of the Griffins in, Lucky Banner. He's still under £1,000, but he's put on £25. So I think that's a good thing for him. And he's drawn nicely in barrier 13. One, six, three and five.
Can't argue with any of those. We've got the same four numbers. So Sparkling Dolphin on top for, for me as uh, well. A hit of uh, Amazing Rock. He's got the hood coming off. Has gone fresh, uh, nicely fresh in the past. We are here off the good trial win. And uh, Lucky Banner hasn't had a trial. Thought had every chance beaten favourite last uh, time out, but uh, should have matured and strengthened up. Just a three-year-old by a star-spangled banner. So one, six, three and five. And that is the tips for the first leg of Sunday afternoon's six-up.